Right, so next we want to talk about some SaaS based storage. Now, if you guys have followed this channel, you probably don't see me talk about SaaS based storage a lot. Let's face it, it's right there at the top. It's the tippity 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 top of enterprise level storage. But with two Rackman storage devices behind me from Synology, it would be incredibly remiss of me not to talk about this SaaS based storage with you today. So, first and foremost, the SA3400. Now, there has been a revision of the naming strategy at Synology there that we will talk about on, the, on another video. And on the bottom of the screen now will be the specifications for these devices. So, I'm learning this as fast as you are because this device here is the SA3400. It features an Intel Xeon D based CPU, that 1541 8 core that we've seen before. It's a 12 uh, rack mount based storage device with redundant power supplies there on the back. It features 2 times 10 GBE ports there on the rear, and that's copper based as well as those 4 1 GBE ports. And unsurprisingly, it of course arrived with 5 years of warranty and the Synology replacement service. So you've got all that rolled in together. Now, for those who are looking at virtualization, open stack, or large, large, large scale surveillance, this is going to be incredibly attractive to you guys because this is really, really powerful, but with the added addition of SaaS based storage. That's 12 gigabits per second storage. There. So right now, what could make this better? Well, I introduce you to the SA3600, another SaaS based device that may look near enough identical and it's got the same warranty, the same ports, the same redundant power supply and the same Synology replacement service. But with it is another Xeon D based CPU, the D1567 and this is a 12 core processor and again, all of the specs should be on the screen right now. Now this device arrives with 16 gig of DDR4 memory that is ECC RDIM, that's the long one, that can be upgraded substantially. Also it supports that BTRFS file system that for the old guys that care a lot about snapshots and backups and a multi-tiered backup solution, that's going to be very important and never ever ever overlook the importance of having an external 10 GB connection across multiple ports and the speed of SAS based hard drives inside. And remember that includes SAS based SSDs too. And remember that both of these devices have got multiple PCIe slots for adding more 10 GBE, 25 GBE and 40 GBE, thereby removing all of your bottlenecks. Now, we'll be talking more about enterprise level solutions here at the show, but I recommend you check out my video that is gonna feature this bad boy, because this is something special. But I'll see you on the next video.